I need to find some sort of trap. I, I don't even know where I am, actually. Where am I standing? I have no idea where I am. Okay, and there there doesn't appear to be anything I can um, interact with. Help, help, help. The knight can be found in a room inside the area in the weapons room. I don't really know where I am, though. I, hmm, is it here? That's not where I am. Here I am. Okay, I'm in the white tower. Great, now that I know where I am, I can explore this area. Cool. And I've still got this random illegible note. I imagine at some point I'm going to put all those illegible notes together. Each note, I've gotten a note from uh, every single bird, so this final bird will have the final note, so I can put them all together. This net would be perfect if it wasn't in such a pitiful state. I'll need some string to repair it. I've got plenty of string. It's right here. Well, I got a little bit, anyway. So that wasn't much of a puzzle. It was the harder the puzzle was figuring out where I was. I'd never seen that area I before awesome. while exploring, um, what on earth? Okay, I'm trying to fix this. I imagine this is a puzzle, right? Okay, this is a puzzle. I need to um, get ev get the string everywhere uh, without double-crossing my pathway, is what it looks like. Yeah, this is clearly a puzzle. Okay. Got myself stuck. Yep. Got myself stuck there. Okay, so with a puzzle like this, um, knowing where to start is the really important thing. Another very important thing is getting these edges correct. So there we go. That gets about half of it done. Done. Did it. Here's your turtle, Holmes. Watson, you impress me. This specimen will be ideal. I need to find somewhere to put it down, Watson. Is this really, like, the the best way we could get that bird? I need something. Okay, so I need something. Let's go with the turtle. Do I put the turtle down first or the net? Looks like the turtle goes first. What even is that stuff on the ground? Stand back, Watson, as we wait for our bearded friend to descend. I hope you'll be able to catch it on the first try, Holmes. Ginger would never forgive me. Ginger? Yes, the turtle. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, the turtle's name. So how did Lupin get this rather specific bird into the area? That's a very good question. I don't think the game is even going to kind of address that question. Just like how it didn't address the question of why Barnes was rolling on the ground acting like a strange man. Ah, uh, maybe we'll see him later. There's our starving friend, Watson, and the last paper. At last. I thought we'd never succeed. Now can we head back to our lodgings and sleep for part of the day? We have until this evening. We are heading back to Baker Street, Watson, but not to sleep. We have time for a meal, and then we must make haste to the next location that we will ascertain with the help of these messages. Uh, but I'm done for, Holmes. As Ashila said, I think the slain care little if they sleep or rise again. Come, Watson, make haste. Okay. Well? I can no longer take it, regardless where these papers that were found on those damn birds at the Tower of London lead. You'll be going without me, Holmes. Aww. Plus, this business cannot remain secret much longer. And Scotland Yard would like to take over the case again, and I would gladly give it to them. You are correct, Watson. Even if Chief Warder Smith sent two-thirds of his men on holiday to minimize the risk of leaks, the authorities would be aware, with very little delay, that something was afoot in London. And they would want to take over the case, as you say. But Scotland Yard is once again facing a strong opponent, and is up against a resounding failure. There is no question of my stepping down or even thinking of resting, not while England is being menaced by Arsene Lupin. As you wish, Holmes. If only I had known that one day you would be giving me lessons in patriotism. Now, try to figure out the meaning of these messages. But how, Holmes? They are illegible, Watson. But as Lupin seems to be a magician when the mood strikes him, it may well be a conjuring trick. 
Yeah, this was a lot, a lot of work just to get these five illegible notes. So we need to figure out some way to get these notes to reveal Lupin's next location. Ha <laughs> ha! I have no idea. Well, what are we going to do? Maybe there's something we can use it on. Uh, a map? Hmm. This looks like a thing I can interact with. This lamp. I haven't worked with this lamp before. <laughs> Aha, so by running these under the, ra the the lamp, we get this puzzle. Get another poem. With no hope of return, the six have flown. What to do? I hear you groan. The sublime emperor displayed to the whole world our splendor. He conquered the land from east to west. All his treasures were impressed. From the center of the earth they came, a thousand years, even a thousand again. It was called a treaty, but merely a plot for you to steal what was yours to take not. The name you search for is a city, that of Catherine, Saint So Pretty, model for Raphael and all these other people. England still retains this plunder, a brash display. If the treasure's mine for the taking, I will succeed and die trying. Covered in riddles, the object I'm after, turned a young Frenchman into a master. You thought it was one of yours running the show, who deserved to win the prize, but no. Mr. Lion, Mr. Young. I don't get it. Again. Nay, Watson. This letter talks of painting, amongst other things, and I bet Lupin wants to gain some time by having a strolling around London, but this time I anticipate arriving at the site of the next theft before he does. Oh, good. Watson, you're spent. You must rest this morning, and I'll take care of this alone. I'll come back to collect you around 11 o'clock. So this time, unlike, you know, the last time at the National Gallery, is Holmes I'm actually going to stop the theft? The description given in the poem. Is Holmes actually going to stop the theft? Because last time he just, he found out where the theft was. He found out where the target was and said, oh, it's going to be robbed. Okay, cool. Incompetent policeman, you take care of it while I go home and do nothing. And yeah, that ended up being a really, really stupid opinion. Okay, our stupid decision. In any case, we are trying something. I imagine we're going somewhere. So let's go back to our map of London and see which area he will accept. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. We've already done the Tower of London, so no reason to go there, I imagine. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Trafalgar Square? No, I mean we've already been here, but we're going back here again. Is that what's going on? I'm back here. Hello, gentlemen. More Shut paintings? Regarding the mildew oh work. no, not Indeed. back here again. As long as it doesn't work beyond our expectations, and we will get our visitors back when we reopen. So, have you found the fighting temporary? Not really. I confess not, but we are making progress on the case. Okay. Farewell, gentlemen. I think this was the wrong location. Do you have another clue, Mr. Holmes? I mean, I guess it's nice that we can go back here again, but that's really not helpful. I have no reason to go there. Let's try the other locations. I have no reason to go there. No reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Oh my. Yeah, of course. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. It's got to be one of these two. I have no reason to go there. Then it's this one. I have no reason to go there. Okay. Fine, I'm using a hint. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um... Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, we talked to the director. I need to ask him about the poem. Okay, I need to pull out the poem and then talk to him. Fine, fine. Do you have another clue, Mr. Holmes? So I was right in, in thinking that we had to go here. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, I, I was actually correct. Okay, this is our destination, but we need to show him the poem As for the first. I have the names of four artists who may have paintings on exhibit here. I am feeling weary and out of sorts after all of the commotion, and I am not able to help you. Really? Anymore. The museum, however, is all yours. Thank you. You are also pulling the I'm too tired to help. Farewell, gentlemen. Nonsense. Come on, buddy. Help me out. You have another clue? Farewell, gentlemen. Okay, let's see if we can find these four paintings. I'm just going to use the hint. 
the name that we search for is a city where St. Catherine resides. Catherine of Alexandria, that's where she lived. So we need to find all the paintings of St. Catherine scattered throughout the gallery. German and Italian gallery is mainly the place. Cool. Let's look for German. Is this one? There's no inscription here. I'll speak to the director, perhaps. Perhaps. Hans Holbein, the younger, died of the... Pl no. Okay, let's check the other side. Of this room. The painter's father, Albrecht Dürer. He's probably seen happier days. This could be St. Catherine. Grenache. Oh, I guess it's not. She's often depicted with a, a wheel. Grenache's style has such ambience. He depicted well the total lack of fantasy. Portrait of a woman by Lucas Grenache the Elder. Ah, this is it. Okay. Here's what I've been looking for. The game zooms in on it when I reach the area. Awesome! I don't need to look at every painting. That saves me a good amount of time. Look, a Lochner, entitled St. Catherine of Alexandria. Look, a Lochner, entitled St. Catherine of Alexandria. Who is she hanging out with, by the way? Um, like, we've got a saintly eagle. Is that supposed to be, like, St. John the Evangelist? Or... I don't know who she's hanging out with, yeah. St. Catherine of Alexandria had famous relatives, but um, they weren't saints. They were like Roman emperors, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, there we go. There she is. There's her with the wheel. She's most commonly depicted with the wheel. Here is St. Catherine of Alexandria by Solario. The story of St. Catherine of Alexandria goes that she was a great philosopher. Um... Uh, Greek. She was schooled in Greek philosophy, not Roman or Latin philosophy. A painting by Veronese, the family of Darius before Alexander. Ooh, Darius and Alexander. Alexander the Great, I presume. Um. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here's what I've been looking for. Yep, there she is with her wheel, her trademark wheel. I forget why she has a wheel. It's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Crivelli. Anyway, Catherine of Alexandria, Princess of Egypt, basically, and, um, yeah, Princess of Egypt got into a big philosophical discussion with some for. of the, uh, some of the, the Latin people, uh, people from Rome, and they had her murdered. I think, like, Emperor Constantine, who grew up to, like, basically be in charge of the Roman Empire, was, like, a second cousin of hers. And here's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Raphael. There, I've made note of the four paintings indicated in Lupin's poem. I shall return to Watson, and we'll put our heads together. And historians disagree on whether or not St. Catherine of Alexandria actually existed. It's kind of hard to know if she actually existed when it's the case that if she had existed, they purposely destroyed all of the things she wrote because they really didn't like her. She was executed. People who are executed tend to have powerful enemies. Holmes has left at last. I'm worn out, but I have no choice. I must take advantage of his absence by recovering his legion of honor. Is, what even is this animation of him, like, find the crooks to whom I pawned it. rolling on the ground? Yes, I've been able to gather a sufficient sum of money. Now, to the Golden Lion. Okay, never mind, I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, the game skipped a puzzle for me. It skipped the puzzle of me getting money. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you so much, game. This makes up, this makes up for so much. Okay, so off to the Golden Lion. I've got a map here. Let's go to the map of Baker Street and just warp there. I'm gonna buy the Medal of Honor, apparently. Couldn't pay attention. Okay, why did he say couldn't pay attention? What? That doesn't make much sense. Just to a random guy who's Hello. leaving? Oh no, it's closed! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! How will I get the, the... Tell me, my good man, do you remember me? Last night I was in the next room where I pawned an object that I have come to buy back. Where can I find those concerned? Just where do you think you are? In the Duchess's front parlour? If there ain't nobody, it's cause there ain't nobody, and I don't know no more than that. 
We don't ask questions here, we drink and shut it. It's a scandal. You'll hear from me, Mr. Yeah, well, the bartender's not helpful. I'm a secret war with ears. Shh. Oh, well, I guess there's no way for me to find that random person from last night if all these areas are closed. Let's find the random person who is leaving. Oh boy, it's my friend. What lucky happenstance. Have you recovered from last night's temper? Oh, hello there. <clears throat> it's lucky that I have found you here. I've collected the amount necessary to buy back the medal that I pawned yesterday. You look like someone who might know the ruffians who were holding the bookseller. Do you know where I could find them? <laughs> you aren't serious, I hope. I don't know them any better than you. Earlier in the evening, I had them round in hopes of gleaning a few morsels, but that's all. I had thought that you, like me, had bluffed, and that your trinket wasn't worth a knicker. By this time, it has certainly been melted and sold as bullion. At best, it's still in the window of a pawnbroker's. What are you telling me? You're going to tell me where I can find these rogues and the medal. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in the thick of it, because I've got friends in high places. I do. Why, Doctor? You're acting like a common thug. I, who have done everything possible for you... Okay, you have helped me out, me. but... I do apologize. Uh, how could you know? I seem to have lost my usual aplomb. This case is dragging on, and to top it all off, I have lost my friend's medal. Don't worry. I've seen worse. As for your head, it's sleep that you need. Your ideas will be much sharper after a rest. Impossible. My friend will be returning any moment, and then we'll end up I don't know where in London, in order to stop... Ah, but I've said too much. Uh, the men who have the medal, is there any way to find them? Maybe, but I'll have to call in a few favours, and that takes time. And money. I have a hundred guineas. Will that suffice? That should do the trick, but I can't guarantee anything. In any case, I'll do all that I can, I promise you. To help retrieve the medal. Thank you very much. I'll get to it immediately. But don't forget that you owe me one. Or free, rather. Yeah, we keep being forced to give this guy lots of favors. Random guy who helps us out. Random, um, he was a journalist, ah, well, I right? I'd be dragging you out of bed. Oh, ah, I was summoned to visit a patient. Obviously a hypochondriac. Eh? Oh, uh, yes. How did you know? Otherwise, you would have taken your medical bag along. Ah, <laughs> yes. By Jove, you are clever. As for the case at hand, which must be our priority, we must find to which treaty is referred in the latest message from Lupin. I just came from the National Gallery, and I think we have all of the elements necessary to formulate an answer. What do you think, Watson? What do those pictures have to do with an answer? To which treaty does the Six Birds poem refer? What does that have to do with any of those paintings? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold on a second. Holmes's quiz number four. Not the lady who was painted. St. Catherine of Alexandria. Alexandria, was that? Um, sorry, I think the, the, the game cut out a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here's the, here's the uh, conversation here. The Treaty of Alexandria. Exactly, Watson. Oh, is it that our treaty then we defeated Napoleon Bonaparte? Undoubtedly, Watson. And how are people playing this game supposed to know that? They're just supposed to know that already off the top of their head. Now, you go to sleep. I'll take care of Bonds. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, and we're halfway through the game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're, like, halfway through the game. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we're, we're, like, video, what, number 13? These are 20-minute videos, too. These are not, like, super short videos, even. In any case, he promised that he would go see Barnes, which is great, because I want some closure on why Barnes was just rolling on the ground laughing. It looks like he's just standing at his desk there at this moment, so, yeah. Mm, I don't see him. Oh, he is just standing at his desk. Good. Oh, hello, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> what can I do for you? Good day, Barnes. I'm looking for a book that deals with English victories and the subsequent treaties, the Treaty of Alexandria in particular. You'll have to excuse me, but I am already run off my feet this morning as I need to relabel some of the books. I'll leave you to look for yourself. There must be something in the history shelf near the back. 
This guy is the worst bookkeeper ever. Seriously. Seriously, this guy is really useless. Okay, let's see if we can find his book. Nope. Not there. Found it. Cool. 